We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. Blue Jays baseball is next. Ryan Barucki gets the ball for the Blue Jays in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? If you want to pick up a win as a starting pitcher, you have to go five innings to get the win, and that's just what he did in the last one. I'm sure he'd like to be out there for a little bit longer in this one. Here's Miguel Andujar now, and we are set for baseball Lead here this evening. For the Yankees, the third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. Here comes the first pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. That is second. The designated hitter, Gio Urshela. Now in the box, Gio Urshela. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. In there at the knees, strike Come one. On. one uh, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, Matty V, and you know what, D-Row? It hasn't been a very good homestand so far. They dropped the first three games. They open up a new series here, and they'd like nothing more than to get into the win column to get that first win of this homestand. Yeah, hopefully they were able to shower off that last series. A whole, whole new ball game, new team comes in, new problems. New Patting opportunities. Third. Let's see what the they do Torta. today. Labor Torres. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh. Two out, nobody on. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Now the pitch. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. The two and one on its way. Curveball, and he thought it was strike two. Instead, it goes to three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Yankees nothing. Blue Jays coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Jordan Montgomery, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, one of the main issues is he wants to limit the amount of walks. Walked four in his last start, and that's a little bit too many for a starting pitcher. He's going to need much better control if he expects to pitch better in this one. Here's Joe Panic. He'll lead things off here in the Lead bottom half of the first. Toronto, the second baseman. Go. And now pitch on the way. Panic. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Batting second. The designated hitter. Whoa. Fish. Yes. Next to bat for Toronto, Bo Bichette. It was a two for four effort for him in Wednesday's game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Matty, this team's in the grind part of their schedule right now. Just had a short homestand. 
able to say hello to the family, kiss the wife, tuck the kids in at night, and they're back on the road again. This should be interesting to see the energy this team plays with today. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. D-Row, you know one of the things, I guess, with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. Count is one and two now. The pitch. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. One out, nobody on. Liner towards second. And there are two away now. Batting third. Oh man, you can't the hit a ball baseman. any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it though and then make the out at first. Stepping up now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First delivery to him on the way. Slapped hard the opposite way. Oh, he couldn't make the play. Batting four. Not shortstop. Lourdes. Into the box, Lourdes Gurriel. Oh, yeah. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, one ball, no straight. The one zero -oh home that ball is fastball taken high for a ball. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Hit high and deep to right center. And that'll get over the wall so the runner will have to hold up at third. Hey, there's another good. base knock the right, right there. Hitting streak now Red up to eight games. Yeah no doubt Rick about it. Eight games. Now nah, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games, now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. With runners in scoring position this season, Gritchick is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Guerrero on third. Guriel on at second with two down. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. The 2-2. Two -two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul.
Two and two. Here it is. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. Blue Jays leave a pair. We are still scoreless. Giancarlo Stanton now. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Giancarlo Stanton. Here's the first pitch to him. The 0 1 on its way. No ball. Slider and look out, that's up in the danger zone. Man, this guy's a grinder, fouls off good pitches, and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, the and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll enter play here at an even 250. One home run, nine driven in. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground a second, fielded by Panic. Throw gets him, two down. Batting fifth, the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. First offering on its way. LeMayhew absolutely feasts off of left-handed pitching. Many right-handed hitters do better against southpaws, of course, but he's about as good as it gets in the opposite-handed type of matchup. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Richard is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. Leading off. He's set to game. lead off the home half the of the second. Teoscar. Infield Third in the overshift game. here. Now the pitch. Oh. And that misses for ball one. one and Fouled away. One one home is laid off for ball two. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The two two is swung on and missed strike three. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is that get is on that. base and take advantage the of the strength man. of his game, Number which 24. is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. 
Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now the 1-0. Oh. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find a feel for that thing moving forward. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Fouled off. There's ball four. Batting eight. The catcher. Number nine. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Danny Jansen. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First delivery to him on the way. Bottom of the second here with no score. Huh. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. All even now, two and two. Runner at first here, one man out. In the dirt here. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad bat will continue. Once again, a 3-2. High in the air into shallow left center. Tuckman comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Batting ninth, the center fielder, Derek Fisher. Stepping in, Derek Fisher. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the pitch. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now bad. Pitcher's got to stay on his base. toes right there. You never no. know who in this lineup is going to pull it. out the old ambush. Knock to right right there. To the plate now, Joe Panic. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. One and 0. Oh, here it is.
three and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Three balls, no strikes. Oh, and that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Digging in for his second at bat, Bo Bichette. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Hey, when a pitcher's put in a tough spot, he's usually going to go to what got him here, and that's this guy's slider. Expect to see that more often. Come set. The 0-1. Oh, oh. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1-1. One one. One and one, the pitch. Now a curveball misses inside. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Two out, base is loaded. He's fallen behind now, three and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Well, he's really laboring in the early going here. That's his third walk of the game already. We'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way through this start. So the bases are loaded here. Two men gone. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Hit hard on the ground towards second. LeMayhew's got it. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Stepping in, Luke Voigt. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. the pitch and right into the shift gets dirty and gloves it got him batting it the center fielder Mike Talkman digging in Mike Talkman as he'll get his first opportunity in this one Now here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Giving chase is Hernandez. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting nine. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up to bat next, it'll be the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Here's the first pitch to him. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Yankees. 
Hey guys, that was a nice job by the batter right there. He's able to get his front foot down game. early, recognize the, the backdoor slider, stay Miguel. inside it, and drive it the other way. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Now the 1-0. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one. It remains 1-0. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the third now. Stepping in and ready for another Leading shot. Lourdes Ruiel. It was a, a double for him in his first Lourdes. turn at the plate. Well, he got a good Ruiel. pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Guriel, a Cuban-born ball player. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. I like what he was trying to do there with the two-seam fastball, but that's a tough pitch to come in. When you throw it glove side like that, it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner. Fastball got him looking. As that had two seam action on it, one gone. And with one away, time for a check of the standings now in the American back. League right East Gilbert. as you get a look at where right these no. two teams find themselves entering right play. Here. Now batting, Rendell Gritchick flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here's the pitch. Right there for strike one. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Bases are empty. One man out. Into the corner and slicing foul. Ready with the 0-2. Got him swinging in the dirt. Higashioka finds it. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Well, you now know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt. Off, and you sure. still get the hitter to swing at it. Hurt, that tells me good. that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. So stepping in to Oscar Hernandez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and zero oh to the Jays left fielder. Oh. 
Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the that's fact low. that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And that's low, ball four. Now batting, number 44. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Has a look. Now the pitch. And he oh. takes ball one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. The 1-0 is a fastball that misses. Tellez, just 24 years of age, he was taken in the 30th round back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. There's the cold strike he was looking for. Two and two now. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Three two pitch skied into straightaway right Stanton has a read on it and that ends the inning Blue Jays held in check but they lead it one to nothing. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela leading off of the ankle the designated hitter. Gio Urshela. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, and he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Up next for the Yankees, the shortstop, Labor Torres. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Now here's the pitch. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1-0. Oh. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. One out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Hey, you'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. Oh, 
digging in now. Danny Lead Jansen is set to lead us off in the, the home country. half of the fourth inning. Number nine. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball, hot. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. And that misses two and one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. And the pitch. And he struck him out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but the that bat. wasn't a great pitch the to do it on. Either. It's really not Garrett. the best two-strike approach either. Fisher. Derek Fisher the next to bat. The bouncer to the left side. Andujar's got it. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The batter, number two, second baseman, Joe Panic. Ready for another chance? Joe Panic. It was a walk in his last trip. Pitch on the way. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Two and oh now. Two and oh. Too high. And it's three and oh. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt he's clearly fighting his mechanics. And that's finally over for a strike. Ball, one strike. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses his zone by that much. I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Bo Bichette, man at first after the two out walk. He's set, here it comes. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there, that's ball one. One run on three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. One left for Toronto, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right. Thanks, Heidi. The left field. Digging in now Tyler. for the Yankees, Tyler Wade. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. And this is fouled at the plate. A 
one one. Two balls, one straight. Here's a little chopper up the middle. He's got a hurry. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. You know what we call that? We call now that back. clean living. To get a knock on a check swing does not yeah, happen maybe. often. This guy obviously had some good karma coming his way. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMay here. Oh. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Comes in with the changeup and it's 2 and 0. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard and you know probably there's a fastball coming. 2 and 0 count and the pitch. Oh, oh. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Ooh. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. You know, Dero, the old school thinking sometimes is we're going through a bad streak like this guy. Any way you can get on a little jam cool. shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. A bare hand for one. On to first, and they get them both. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. Now the that inning was the off to a rough start, right? Mike. But nothing changes Talk that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. So striding in, Mike Tuckman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Grounded weakly toward third. Scooped up, and a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first, as that will end the inning. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Last half of the fifth coming up, it's the Blue Jays one, and the Yankees nothing. Your Luis Sessa, a right-hander standing now six foot even, will take over the pitching duties Number here. 85. Luis Sessa. Ready once again. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Past meetings against Luis Sessa. He's hitless in three at-bats. Guerrero Jr. First pitch of the at-bat. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. Changed up on him, and he gets the inside corner for strike two. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. Andahar brings it in. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. The batter number 13. Shortstop, Lourdes Guriel. At the plate, Lourdes Guriel, one for two with a double on his line thus far. First offering on its way. Oh. One ball, no straight. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. A ball and a strike. Ooh. 
Good no one. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1 home is strike two swinging. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The right field. Well, he hit that 15. ball pretty well, but the only Red problem goal. was that he pulled off it Rick just a bit. It. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Here's Randall Gritchick. No hits to this point. First pitch on its way. And he lays off there 1 0. One run on three hits and no errors in the game for Toronto. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The 1 1. And it's fouled away. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Five innings complete. The Jays lead it one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Kyle Higashioka. He singled his last time up. Higashioka. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The wind up and the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. Chopped to third. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with the strike now out that, there, and it just seems like we've seen down. so many off-balance yeah. swings and weekly That's hit good. balls in this one. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Count even now at one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. He'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Sinker, three and two now. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. One out, nobody on. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. So coming to the plate, Gio Urshela. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 
Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just to give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Swing and a miss on the sinker, a ball in his strength. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Runners on first with one down. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Three balls and two okay. strikes to the Yankees' DH. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back-to-back -back walks here with one now away. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Coming to the plate now, Torres, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch coming, here it is. And, oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike, nothing in one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's 1-1. One one. Now batting, right fielder, Giancarlo. So now to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1 0. Drilled right back up the middle to panic covering. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. A run, a hit, and a man left. Six, seventh, and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six, all tied at one and one. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. He'll have Lead the opportunity to Toronto. kick things off as we the begin the field. home sixth. Day off, girl. Her Here comes the day. first pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Wade has it, and it's a quick out number one. Now batting, number 44. Into the box now, Rowdy Tellers. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage, and he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Doesn't catch the outside corner, it's a ball. Okay. 
And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Now batting, number nine. Up next is Danny Jansen. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball right back to the mound. Torres at the bag. On to Voigt and inning ending double play. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Seventh inning coming up. All tied at one and one. New inning set to get underway. So striding forward now. Tyler Wade is working on a one for two game so far. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now the one and one pitch. Pitch is popped up. Therefore it is Guerrero and that's the first out. Up next for the Yankees, the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. One gone here in the Yankee seventh, and that'll bring up D.J. LeMahieu. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. This one's a strike. It's one and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting the first baseman. Luke Boyd. Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Two out, nobody on. Just oh, off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Slap hard the opposite way. And that'll get down for a two out single. Hey that was a nasty backdoor slider right there but he was able to now stay tucked and drive that baseball the other way. Mike talk. In now, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here it comes, 1 and 0. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Three and oh now. It's amazing how quick an inning can get away from you. Your crews in first two outs are super quick. Little single happens and now you're down 3 0 with the chance of maybe a little two out lightning happening. As a look now the pitch and he misses with it ball four so the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position now. Oh man, I think now this block is going to grind at him for a bit. He Kyle. just missed, and now the down. inning continues with the man in scoring position. Settling in now, Kyle Higashioka. One for two in the ball game thus far.
First pitch coming. Here it is. Bob couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees. It's strike one. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The set and the two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. That's a big no-no. He obviously oh, had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to yeah. load the bases. Now he's that's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll leave in a tie ball game, but he's also responsible for the three men on base, and he'll need some big time help here to preserve a no decision. Ladies Wilmer Font answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Wilmer Font. Miguel Andujar will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. From the belt, kicks and deals. And that's taken for strike one. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. He set the 0-1. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Fisher looking up. And as Yankees fans hear on television quite frequently, see ya! So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. Fourth home run for him on the season, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. And they complete the comeback with a flourish, going deep with a grand slam to take the lead. You don't get style points in this game, but I'd give them some if I could hand some out. Into the box now, Gio Urshela. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now the 1-0. Yep, that ball went out. Three balls, no strike. Torres would be next. Four runs here in this half inning. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Hard hit to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen. But one more look at the big blow in the inning for the Yankees. A grand slam home run. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's 5-1 Yanks. 
Stepping into the box, Derek Leading Fisher. For the a hit in two tries for him so far. Fielder. It doesn't Derek. look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One and oh, the count. Blowing away as he misses again, 2-0. and oh. Fouled off. Now the 2-1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to, to the start game. the at-bat. That's the a pretty bad man. place to be, but Yo. then he kind of refocused himself and Hannah. came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Into the box, Joe Pennant, hey, as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. Oh, it's 0-1. Couple of walks for him thus far. Lifted down the line and left. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh, one and two. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. Pagashioka gathers and he makes the throw to first. Hanek is retired. Two down now. now. The designated hitter. Digging in. Bo Bichette. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Two balls, no strike. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Here's the pitch. Yeah. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Three and two. Ani bailed him out with a swing. Three and two now. Hey, there was great arm action on that three one changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup or do you stay with the heater? Squared that one up just a little late. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Now batting, third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Digging in, Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Sends that one out of play for strike one. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. Comes set with the 0-1. Skied into straightaway right. Stanton has a read on it, and the inning is over. Blue Jays held in check. They're down 5-1. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's working on a one for three thus far. Torres. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. 
throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. So here's the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the at bat. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Stanton. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. No oh. offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. Now that He's capable of taking you deep every time he digs in, so it's not three. the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Stepping into the box, Tyler Wade. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, pretty impressive if you ask me. So many times you beat a sinker into the ground, you end up grounding out the third. You're running down to first base, and you're so upset at yourself. At least he got under the thing. He knows his bat plane is pretty decent. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Hey. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one Good and ball. two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. DJ LeMayhew is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. 5-1 our score as we play the eighth. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Fisher's under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. They're up 5-1. Chad Green is on to pitch out of now the bullpen in the bottom game. half of the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Green in down, Mortis Guriel. Hit the ball Not pretty well stop. in his last at bat, Morten. but it resulted in a line out. Guriel. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. In there, 0 and 1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. O2 home. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. One and two. Here it comes. A bouncer up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been 50. on a nice hot streak as Red of late, goal. and I don't see it ending anytime Red soon. Hit.
Kendall Gritchick at the plate now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. A runner at first with no outs here. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this no one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Hernandez. Stepping in now to Oscar Hernandez. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. No hits to this point. Oh. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Runner at first here, one man out. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. At the plate now, Rowdy Tellers. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. It was a walk in his last trip. The one oh. Swing and a liner. Foul. Two out with the man at first. A two and one count to the Blue Jays first baseman. From the belt the pitch and it's two balls and two strikes now. Can't waste getting a leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Here now the two two. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is going to find the seam as it scoots through on the carpet for extra bases. Guriel rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate as they close the gap to three now. Never say never in this game, folks. It's now late and the clock is ticking. But that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. 
He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. The next 0-2. Oh. Well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Has a look, now the pitch. At the ball. Two, two, right now. But a guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. A run for the Jays thanks to the RBI double. Ninth inning straight ahead. It's the Yankees five, the Blue Jays two. Your Giles please. enters the game from now the pen, and because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying yeah. to get him some work after having not yeah, thrown yeah. in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Ninth Ooh. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Ready with the 0-1. And oh. this is high, a ball and a strike. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Just behind the fastball oh. there, two strikes oh. now. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that Up late action that just darts at the, the last minute. They're so tough Mike. to get the bat on. Talk. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate, Mike Talkman. As the fastball is swung on and missed, good location down at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes, and the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Well, this team they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. Now the one and one pitch misses ball two. The two one home. Three ball one straight. Kyle Higashioka is on deck. One out nobody on. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. Okay. And it's fouled away. The three two one more time. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Fisher is there, two gone. Now batting, catcher, Kyle Higashioka. 
Ready for another shot now. Kyle Higashioka. He's one for two in the ball game. And now a pitch on the way. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Hoo that was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And it remains five to two. Tommy Kingley comes out of the bullpen to shut things down now here in the ninth. The Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Now with the plate, Derek Fisher. He looked to bounce back Liga, after Fort striking Toronto. out his last time the up. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully Derek. he got it out of his system. Especially Fisher. now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. The 1-0 is looked at for the first strike. One and one. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. The one two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Three two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth no as Number we take two. a look at league Second saves leaders man. entering play. Yo. And as you see, he's right up there Had among it. league leaders in that department. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Joe Panic. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Come set and the 0-1. Oh, one ball. One strike. Bases are empty. One man out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two. Ball two. Three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three two count. With the three run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Pulled toward right center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second now, out. The designated hitter. Whoa. Bichette. Striding forward now is the DH, Bo Bichette. 
He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One ball. Two out, nobody on. Unable to find the zone with the slider. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. Two balls and a strike to count. The 2 1 will not catch the zone, ball three. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. would be next. The 3 1. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Ready now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the first pitch. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0 and 1. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Oh. Fastball well outside. A runner on first with two away. Taken cold strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Close, but it's not over yet. That's ball two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. them down to their final strike here it comes that one doesn't even sniff the zone missing very high no pitcher likes to take the count to three and two especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two that one wasn't even close now the payoff pitch home and he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball the closer no is supposed to slam three. the door in his opponent, Good but job. he left the door wide Lord open it. with a walk there. We'll Lord see if hell. they can capitalize on it. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Lourdes Guriel. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. From the stretch. Oh, oh. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. 1-0 pitches a slider swung on and missed one and one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. The count now is two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Line drive to left. Wade is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, how about that play to end this thing? That's what you call the icing on the cake cherry on top of the Sunday exclamation point I love it 5 2 the final score tonight the New York Yankees jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back 
Luis Sessa gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Tommy Kingley closes the door for the save, his 12th of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.